Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of episode 36. Alright, here we are in the neighborhood screen and we've got um, Daniel Pleasant. He's got 3,400 simoleons to his name. So he's going to be moving into the flop house uh, where Dawn lives. This is where my divorced sims and newly uh, graduated from college sims <laughs> move into. He probably had enough money to move into uh, the Pleasant Vista apartments where Nina lives, but I want him to save up so maybe he could get his own condo. I'm also thinking of possibly having him and Dawn get a condo together, like a bachelor pad together. But they need to save up some money first. So, he's going to go rent this room back here. He needs to sign his lease. And check this out. He fears having a baby. <laughs> I think you're okay. I think you're okay for now, Daniel. Alright, so he wants to buy all this crap, which we'll use those paintings that we downloaded for. Um, I'm going to furnish his little um, sad little bachelor room. <laughs> and I'll be right back when I finish that. Okay, I furnished Daniel's bachelor pad. Um, I just gave him a bed, a dresser, a light, and this is the ACR adjuster that looks like a bonsai. I also need to buy, I forgot to buy these paintings for him to uh, get rid of these wants. So we're going to go, he wanted a fridge. We're going to buy the fridge painting. He wanted a tub and a toilet, so we're going to buy those as well. Okay, that takes care of that. And of course, now he wants to woohoo, have five loves at once, and be best friends with Lucy. Have five loves, have five loves at once gives him the most aspiration, so I'm going to lock that in along with woohoo with five different sims. Now I'm going to have him go and, oh, he hates that painting. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> I'm going to have him go downstairs and invest the little bit of money that he has. So he can start gaining interest. And if between the two of them, he, he and Dawn can save up enough money. They both have child support too. But if they can save up enough money to get a condo together, I would really like for them to buy uh, Dina's old condo together. And it could just be like their bachelor pad. So we'll see how that goes. Daniel has a really good job. He makes a lot of money. But he's going to be turning into an elder very soon. Oh, I just realized I need to change the day. I'm going to use my trusty day setter here. I'm going to have to put it up in his room. We'll delete it when we're done. Oh, okay. I put it on the side of the wall. That's... <laughs> I have move objects on, so it just goes crazy. And I need to set it to Friday, or Saturday morning, I guess, would be fine. Okay, now let's get rid of this. Because he left the house at 7 p.m. on Friday. So we'll just say that he stayed out all night, upset about the loss of his marriage, and then he came over here to the flop house and sucked it up and got himself a room. And now we just need to play him through until Monday morning. Let me see his work schedule. He does go to, oh, he's supposed to be at work right now. After he goes to the bathroom, I'm going to send him to work because he needs all the money he can get. And I got a chance card for Daniel while he was at work today. The team's owner has asked Daniel to make some cuts in order to get under the league's salary cap. Also, the team can acquire an MVP who's recently shown interest in playing for SimCity. Daniel's team and facilities are stretched as it is, so he's not sure where to start cutting back. He's picked up some replacement players from free agency recently, but they've been showing real promise. He could possibly cut back on team expenses like hotels and first-class flights. I think he needs to cut expenses and not players. The team agrees with his decision, and Daniel earns two charisma and two logic skill points. Eh, I was hoping for a promotion, but that'll work, I guess. All right.
right, Daniel just got home from work. He earned 1,785 simoleons. I'm going to have him go deposit another 2,000. So now he has 4,000 saved up. It's not going to take him long to save up enough to get a place. The only problem is he's going to be retiring in two days. So <laughs> I don't know how much his pension is going to be, but it's not going to be nearly as much as his salary is. And he lives in the same apartment building with his daughter. He hasn't talked to her at all. They have a negative 15 relationship. All he wants to do is woohoo and ask us him out on a date. But I'm going to force him to at least, I think he would at least acknowledge Lilith's presence here in the flop house. And maybe this would be a good time for them to work on the relationship and possibly get it to be a little bit better. Without the other family members around, maybe they can get to know each other a little bit. It is 6 p.m. and Daniel is now 59 years old. He is going to age up on Sunday to an elder. But while he's still young, oh, his phone's ringing. He's going to go answer it. He wants to ask a sim out on a date, so he's going to go out on a date. Um, I think he'll ask Lucy, his old maid, out. His old maid. <laughs> His previous maid. Um, Andrea is calling to talk to him. She's going to be se severely disappointed if she thinks she's going to have like a long-term relationship with Daniel because, oh, she's asking him to go downtown. Um, okay, I guess he'll go. I mean, I think he would say yes to that. So never mind. He's not going to ask. He's not going to ask um, anybody out because instead he's going to go downtown with Andrea. I just hope she doesn't invite any of Daniel's other lovers. As long as he doesn't, she doesn't invite Kaylin or Nina, they should be fine. Preferably not Paulette because he's going to pursue her too eventually, I'm sure. I don't know what he was laughing at. So where should they go? Where have we not been? Um, they're going to go to the Lulu Lounge. Alright, Daniel has arrived downtown at the Lulu Lounge with Andrea and also Christy Stratton. It looks like there are some more people that are going to get out of the van. Um, Joe Carr, Sandy Broody, and Abjeet. So, oh, and Jan Tellerman. Luckily, um, Daniel doesn't have a relationship with any of these people, so everything should work out fine. Uh, Andrea is still in her work clothes. <laughs> Looks like she got promoted. She no longer wears the mascot uh, gear anymore. Daniel wants to slow dance, but I do not get the option to slow dance now. And there's music playing. Let's turn on this radio and see if we can get them to slow dance. Okay, now they can slow dance. It's like there has to be a radio playing. I'm thinking that maybe I downloaded a mod or something where they can't slow dance without music. Can we please put this on something else? Well, since he wants to ask a sim on a date and Andrea's right here, I'm just going to have him go ahead and ask her out on a date. And they can have another date together. Dustin Brokes over there getting down. Even though he's already woohooed with her and made out with her, so it's kind of a waste for Daniel, but yeah, she's here and he likes her, so he's going to go on a date with her. He fears getting married to Mary Sue, getting married to Andrea, and getting married to Nina. Don't worry, Daniel. You're not going to get married to anybody. Alright, Daniel and Andrea have been making out, dancing together, and now he wants to woohoo with her. So I'm going to have them woohoo right here on the couch in front of everybody. 
because Daniel does not care. Oh, there's a hot tub here? Well, let's have them do it in the hot tub then. That's a little, a little less gross than just right here in front of the dance floor. There are a lot of women here for him to meet and he's not able to meet them because of Andrea. Maybe I'll just have him go introduce himself to everybody for, so they can be future prospects for him. Sandy Broody, I think, would be a good one because she's a romance sim and she's pretty easy to seduce. What was that? Oh, Abjeet and Sandy Broody. All right, there they go. Woohooing in the hot tub. So I gotta remember the Lulu Lounge is a good place to come to for public woohoos for my romance sims. Well, his second date with Andrea is over. Um, she had a great time. They had a dream date. And now it's time for him to head back to the flop house. All of his wants are woohoo related. Oh my gosh, who just got in a fight? Oh, Jan Tellerman and Sandy Broody. They're probably fighting over Dawn. Okay, well, Daniel's had enough of this. He's going to get back home. Well, it's Saturday night, and Daniel still wants to woohoo again, so he called up Nina for a booty call. Gonna have her come over. He's got the hots for Nina still. She's his number one, because they have three bolts together. Um, Don lives here, so that might be problematic, although he is in his apartment now. He's probably in bed, so may hopefully he won't know. Oh, and that's right. Don's a romance him, so he won't care anyway. I forgot about that. Daniel doesn't seem to be missing Mary Sue very much. He's happy to be free. I hope that they go up to his bed and don't start woohooing in the couch in the common room. Okay, they decided to go up to Daniel's bed. I made Nina selectable just so we could have uh, the woohoo, the chance of risky woohoo with her and Daniel. Because wouldn't they have a cute little redheaded baby? Alright, they're gonna do their woohoo now. Have they never woohooed before? No, they definitely did woohoo. They woohooed on the couch. I had to think about it for a minute. They woohooed on the couch at uh, Club Dante, but I guess this is their first time in a bed. Now Daniel wants to woohoo with ten different sims, so I guess he got his woohoo with five different sims. I guess that counted for that. Nina also wants to woohoo with 10 different sims. I'm going to lock that for her the next time we play her. And I'm going to make her unselectable so she can go back home. Alright, Daniel just got home from work. He brought a friend home from work. Um, today is his birthday. He's going to be turning 60. He's going to age up into an elder. So I'm going to let him prepare for that. And we will... I don't know if I can put a birthday cake in the common area. Probably not. Nope. He can only put a birthday cake in his sad little room. I'll have to get a little table and put the birthday cake on it. And Daniel will have to age up to an elder in his little bachelor room and hopefully the few people he invite can fit in here. I have a feeling it's going to be a horrible mess. Okay, he's going to invite Dawn, Angela, and Ivan to his birthday party. Uh, Lilith is already here, so hopefully she'll just take part in it because he can only invite three people. 
Don's already here as well, but he doesn't have anybody better. He's not going to invite, well, you know, he could invite Nina instead of Don. Since Don and Lilith are already here, he'll invite Nina, Angela, and Ivan. So let's see who shows up for his birthday party. I don't know how much fun this birthday party in the flop house is going to be. Um, did nobody show up? Oh, no, here they come. They actually all showed up. Ivan, Angela, and Nina all showed up. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some fighting between Angela and Lilith. I hope not because Angela is like nine months pregnant. Dawn's going to make out with Nina a little bit. Once Daniel gets out of the shower, he's going to go and blow out his candles. And hopefully everybody can get up here into his room. I know it's going to be a huge mess with everybody trying to get up the stairs and get into this tiny little space. Alright, come on guys. Oops. I'm going all over the place. Look at all those candles. <laughs> Alright, well Ivan's here. Ivan's here for his dad's birthday party. Lilith's going downstairs. She's like, whatever, I don't care. So it's just Ivan supporting his dad. Nobody else cares enough to come up here. Here he goes. Oh, my. Well, look at that shirt. Okay, so now we need to age of another townie as an elder um let's see i guess we can age up andrea with him she's gonna age up to an to an elder now okay so she's andrea's an elder now he's an elder and let's see he needs to retire and we're going to have to go over to the retirement home and so Andrea can move into the retirement home. We're going to have to get rid of one of our townies in there. And by get rid of, I mean they're going to die spontaneously of a heart attack. <laughs> Everybody's having a good time at Daniel's birthday party. He's alternating... Um, Making out with Nina, with Don. <laughs> He'll kiss her and then Don will kiss her. He's not really paying attention to his kids that much. Well, everybody is having an awesome time at the Flop House birthday party. They went outside and started playing water balloon, or having water balloon fights and chatting with each other. It ended up being a roof raiser. So good for you, Daniel. Um, Daniel's enjoying his new life without Mary Sue. Uh, all on his own. He can woohoo as much as he wants. Wow, Don and Lilith are fighting over there. So I'm going to send Daniel to bed, and this is going to be the end of the round for him. Uh, next, we're going to go over to the retirement home, move Andrea Hogan in, and get rid of one of the other townies. Okay, I've loaded the Pleasant View retirement home, and we have our eight elders here. I have targeted Willow Trimble. She's going to be the one who dies. Poor Willow. Just because I get so sick of her uh, fighting with her brother every time I come into the slot. So, and I need a female to die so that Andrea Hogan can move in. So we're going to kill her off. And the way I'm going to do this is I have testing sheets enabled. And I'm going to spawn the death creator. And she is going to die of old age. Here she goes. And all the other seniors are going to be very upset about this. But it's time for you to go, Willow. 
<laughs> and there she goes. They all got a negative memory, but that's okay. So I'm going to get rid of that, and we are going to bury Willow over in the cemetery. She is our first sim to go in. We're just going to put her right there. Eventually, this is probably going to be a really haunted lot if I were to ever play it. Okay, and now I'm going to summon over Andrea to take her place. I don't remember which room. Oh, she had this room back here in the back. All right. Okay, here's Andrea, and we haven't seen her as an elder yet. Let's see. Uh, she's she's all right, I guess. It's not too bad of an outfit for an older lady. So she's here. Um, we need to make her family. Okay, she's in, and we're going to have her go claim this room back here. And now I'm kind of rethinking how I'm doing this, because... This little cemetery is going fill, to get filled up really fast if we kill somebody off every time one of my sims becomes an elder. Maybe I should only kill them off whenever one of my sims dies. I think that was my original plan. Um, and now that I'm looking at that, I think it's a good idea. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and let Andrea live here for now. And we'll keep you know Willow's grave over here. But I think in the future, I'm only going to kill one of these elders when one of my sims dies. And then move in any other elders that have aged up with my sims. Uh, that way we, we're not just constantly killing them off. Because I'm going to have a whole generation of people that are about to age up to elder. So I think it would be better if we wait until they die. But for now, we have our first towny elder who passed away, and we moved in Andrea, and that's it. So I guess that's going to be it. I'm just going to let this play and let our elders have a little bit of fun while I talk about the ending here. This was quite an episode. Um, whew, so much happened. The first part of the episode, nothing too exciting happened. But in the second part, oh my gosh, Daniel uh, brought home Andrea and started making out with her right in front of Mary Sue. Mary Sue got really upset, slapped Daniel silly, kicked him out of the house, divorced him. Now he has to go live in the flop house. Also, we had Ivan age up to a teen and have his first kiss and his first woohoo with... Um, Gia Caliente. I did not see that coming, the whole woohoo situation when he was just a teen. And I looked at my settings and I do have the teen woohoo um, option on. I didn't know that was on by default. I'm okay with it, I guess. I mean, teens probably would woohoo. But I also want to hear you, your suggestions for if I should enable teen pregnancy or not. So let me know what you think about that. And I guess that's it for now. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. Oh my gosh, I just saw that Andrea wants to get engaged to Daniel. <laughs> that's probably not going to happen. Anyway. Um, you can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you want to know anything about the mods I use, my gameplay rules, or if you want to see my sim profiles and family trees. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys with a new video very soon.